Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, Stories from the 78. Happy Fat Tuesday, the sixth annual Fat Tuesday party here at the Chicago Firehouse Restaurant in the South Loop. Uh, I'm going to talk to Shannon here about all the festivities they have going on, a little bit of the history, because if you haven't been to this restaurant, it's incredible. They have their own fire pole. Yeah, and that's legit. That's not like fake or put in there after the fact. No, that's here because this restaurant building has been here since 1904, and it survived a fire, many stories, lots of things happening here. Shannon will tell us all about it here in a second, but that is the story from the 78 here in the South Loop. All right, so we're inside Firehouse 104, looking at the original tin ceiling here. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? That's the authenticity you get here at the Chicago Firehouse restaurant. And I'm here with my friend, Shannon. How are you, Shannon? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderfully. Happy Fat Tuesday. Yes, happy Fat Tuesday. It's a big day for us. Huge. Yeah, absolutely. And why not celebrate it in a building that's been around since 1904? Exactly. Uh, a prop or appropriately dressed in all the Mardi Gras <laughs> accoutrement, right? Beads galore. Yes, yes, beads galore. Thousands of beads, yeah. So what the party kicks off, first of all, I want people to know that this is a behind the scenes type of video. You haven't really, uh, the chefs in the kitchen are getting things ready. We're, you're putting final touches on the decor. Yeah. But um, what should people expect today? Because about 5.30 is when things start to get rocking and rolling. 5.30 right? we open, 6 o'clock, 6 to 10, we have a live band, just a hi-hat second line. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you don't have to go to NOLA. You can stay in Chicago and have an authentic Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday evening with us. Um, right. Yeah. We're, on the, we're in the South Loop, so that's south enough for Chicago, <laughs> right? Exactly. We could yeah. bring a little New Orleans north, right? Exactly. So the restaurant appropriately decorated. You guys went to great lengths to make people feel welcome here, all the way from the, in, uh, the, the room here with the beautiful bar that you guys have, all the way to the back. Correct. Lots of balloons, lots of beads, lots of um, feathers, everything. So, yeah. And you're doing a full buffet later on today when doors open up. What yes. do people have as options because it was so successful you guys like we got to do a buffet so we don't turn people away we want everybody to come in and eat we have this great band a little bit later yeah. on so tell me uh, about the experience people should expect when they come here a little bit later so this is uh, our sixth year doing this mm -hmm. and again like last year we turned away lots and lots of guests so we decided just to do a real pure New Orleans party and just have um, a buffet and make it sort of like no assigned seating it's like it's a true party you know um, so it should be a lot of fun. We're going to have uh, red bean and rice. We're going to have fried okra. We're going to have jambalaya, gumbo. Um, we're going to have Cafe du Monde beignets. Oh, really? Oh, you know, yes. How did that happen? Um, our pastry chef's been slaving away all weekend long, just making everything. Um, we're also uh, featuring Sazeracs, Abita beer, Purple Haze from New Orleans, and of course, a hurricane, because you can't have Mardi Gras without a hurricane. And that's what this is. You brought it out here to take the edge off a little bit with the, with the yeah. interview. <laughs> yes, I make exactly. Shannon nervous by asking all these questions. <laughs> but that's the hurricane. And is it a traditional hurricane for the folks, the connoisseurs of the hurricane drinking world? It is, a, it is Pat O'Brien's recipe. Mm -hmm. um, Pat O'Brien's, of course, is the famous um, watering hole on Bourbon Street. Yeah. Um, more famous for being a speakeasy with the very famous password being there's a storm a brewing that was the, the way to get in and get your hurricane sure. so it is it, the true recipes featuring Myers dark rum and Bacardi and passion fruit and love love and <laughs> speaking of love I know that this gumbo here is a true uh, labor of love because it takes a little bit a oh. while to get to where we're looking at it right now for good reason though oh to, to be able to make a roux of that dark and that, that intense and flavor takes hours upon hours upon hours. Um, our chef, Oscar, has just been stirring away, literally, I think yesterday, for about three hours just to get the roux cons consistency that he wanted. What's happening inside the gumbo? Traditional recipe? Oysters, yeah. crab, shrimp, um, all the goodies. All the goodies. Starting up here about 5.30, is it something that people need to buy tickets ahead of time? How do you want people to do that? Because I'm gonna post this before 5.30 today. Oh yeah, so you can do it online, on Resi, on our website. Um, otherwise, you can come to the restaurant and, and purchase your ticket. It's $55. $55, buffet. There's a lot of room. This place is massive, right? Yeah. And it, you have this decor in here that matches the history of this building. And I'd be remiss if I didn't speak a little bit about it. This building essentially <laughs> burned down almost and then rebuilt but so much so that the walls in here, you told me a story the last time I was here about smoke coming through the walls months after the fire was put out. 
Right. So the fire was for several hours. Yeah. So gallons, millions of gallons of water were dumped on the building. Um, so when you have that combination of water and smoke, uh, you're going to have um, little leftover ghosts peeping through sure. the wall months later. So little smoke rings would shoot through the, the bricks. And you use that experience to kind of um, get the bar in a different spot where it's more of a showcase piece, which is beautiful right now. And you have the original tile on the walls, the tin ceiling. I mean, it, it's kept a lot of its traditions here and brought it to the 21st century, so much so that we're enjoying it here on Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday 2023. Exactly, including the pole right behind yeah, you. Yeah, I got the pole. Yeah, but you know what? Since you brought it up, I mean, that's a legit pole, everybody, right there. And here's for, for scale. <laughs> right here, right? Um, Shannon, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking time to talk with me today. I know it's a very busy day. The kitchen is hard at work back there. Um, but people want reservations. What's the website? Uh, Chicagofirehouse.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank Cheers you. to you. Happy Mardi Gras. Thank Happy you very Fat much. Tuesday. Same to you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's the story here at the Chicago Firehouse Restaurant in the South Loop, Tom Barney, Chicago at gmail.com. If you have a suggestion for a story from the 78, <coughs> or head over to the website, storiesfromthe78.com. Look at all they have here. You got to come by, check it out.